airbags f-150 let's go Today I'm going to give my buddy a hand installing his Firestone Ride Right airbags on his 2017 F-150. This should be the same procedure for the 2015 to 2018. Keep those instructions handy because there are a bunch of small parts that you will want to cross reference. Lay your parts out and organize them by left and right. You'll notice there are a set of brackets with two different part numbers stamped on them. We spend more time than I'd like to admit trying to figure out which side belonged where. It turns out the instruction manual tells you which side the corresponding part number goes to. It's actually in the beginning of the manual where all the parts are listed out and not in the actual installation instructions. Start by securing the top bracket to the airbag. If you've got ideas for other videos you'd like to see, please leave a comment below and like and subscribe to stay updated when we upload new videos. Thread on and tighten the 90 degree air fitting. Locate the correct bottom bracket, triple check you've got the right one, and let's get under the truck. Remove the factory bump stop from the frame.
Follow the included instructions and bend the backing plates to their approximate angles. These backing plates are actually what your top bracket is going to thread into. Getting everything aligned was kind of annoying. We found it was super helpful to mark the visible part of the backing plate so the person on the outside who was feeding the bolt in had a frame of reference for which direction the plate was moving. Once you've got the backing plates aligned and have threaded the bolts in, torque everything down. Slide the airbag assembly into place and bolt it down. Secure the bottom bracket to the leaf springs.
Determine where you want to install your Schrader valves. On my F350, I installed my valves inside the field door next to the filler. On my buddy's truck, we decided to install the valves next to the license plate. This should make it a little more convenient when he's hitched up and inflating and deflating the bags. Once you've got the valves installed, you'll want to run your air lines from your bag, secure your air lines to the frame, and check for any leaks. And that's it, you've got airbags. You'll probably read it in the instructions, but make sure you're always running at least five pounds in the bags so you don't pinch them. Quick shout out to KC Tool. Thanks for hooking us up with a discount on shop tools. Consider taking the money you've saved on this DIY maintenance and picking up some quality German tools from these guys.